Hello, beautiful black women. I hope you are doing well. I hope that you, your daughters, your granddaughters, and goddess daughters are being uplifted. I forgot the nieces. Don't forget the nieces. You're being uplifted, held sacred, and, of course, protected. Okay, black women. Now, I know there's going to be somebody that laughs at this because I kind of think what I'm about to say is funny shit too, okay? However, I'm going to say this. Dear black women, I have been taking it easy on you. I have. I know that might not seem like it because you know me and my intellectual profanity and um, the shit I go off about. But, um, you know, I understand that we go through so much as black women and black girls. And sometimes when someone's trying to show us something or teach us something, it just seems like one more fucking thing that now we got to do that too. But I believe that if I want my energy to go a certain direction, I just need to take it from this bullshit over here and then put it in the direction I want to go. Okay. So, you know, here on TikTok, I'm real life with love. Um, sometimes confidence with love. On YouTube, I'm confidence with love. You're welcome to be either place. Um, but for those of you who haven't heard my diatribe before, please feel free to go and listen to some of the other videos. But we we about to get started right now, black women. For real, for real. Okay? All right, let's get into it. So I'm going to say this. And if you guys need to hear it again, just replay this video. Okay? All right. All right, black women, um, let me say this. Here's the first thing I'm going to say that's probably going to be offending somebody. Um, just let it roll in and let it go on out, okay? Okay, because the bottom line is, and you'll hear me say this several times, you have choices, all right? So I see each black woman and black girl as what I call goddess born. And that means that you are a part of the the source of creation which is why you're so brilliant instinctive and all of these other things and powerful and a creator yourself okay so we come in many forms as god is born like i said um you could be a creatrix i like that creatrix <laughs> an alchemist um we, we've turned a lot of shitty shit into uh, gold, platinum, and titanium, okay? We've made less than nothing the most beautiful, creative spaces in the world, okay? So, um, besides being an alchemist, we are also elementals. Which means you, this world cannot live without us. Just like we can't live without water or sunlight or whatever. Now we could live without a bunch of Negro peons and shit. That's happened before. But as we were the first, and we've been here billions of years, girl, you can't live without us. Let's not even, let's not even front. And we, we do represent that creative force. She, her, the hidden one. Um, yes, those are the deeper mysteries, not going into that today, but maybe sometime. Okay, so um, the other thing about us is we possess many powers. And yes, I said powers. Yes, we're strong. Yes, we're resilient. Yes, we're loving. Yes, we can go off. Yes, some of us are angry. Well, I'm never angry. I'm usually high. I'm highly pissed off. Wait, sorry. Highly picked piss the fuck off um and or rage yeah that's where i sit yeah but um there are a lot of us who are not that way right um and some of us 
are goddess born healers, warriors, goddess mothers. Because everybody that gives birth to a, a child who's a woman is not a good mother. I'm just telling y'all right now. Okay, so there are some of us who've never given birth who are excellent mothers. Because mothering is not just the idea of creating a human being in your body as we do, but it's also all the years after that and what we do to help to um, love on, cultivate, hold sacred and protected and uplifted the girls, our black girls and our black young women. We're also, some of us are, um, especially me, (laughs) warrior. Um, Some of us are priestesses. Some of us are wisdoms. Um, There are some of us who are agents of chaos. And then, of course, there are some of us who are creators. These are the seven sides of us read um, different um, scholarly writings, um, different uh, spiritual writings, but you'll come to find out that this number seven is seven attributes of us. And sometimes you see us in threes to where we, we're nine attributes, but it all amounts to that we come from the same source. So the fact that we're different as black women, the fact that we have different educations, different backgrounds, different social economics, um, the shit that we get into and get upset about, about how things look on the outside. Oh, you're, you're bald. Okay. So, (laughs) oh, your hair is thick and it reaches to the sun. Yeah, that's way better, actually. Um, so it should not matter what our, the tone of our skin is. It shouldn't matter, um, that we are, we are 4C here. I don't know what the fuck that means. 4C, 4B. I don't know how that goes, but we have beautiful hair because we're black women. Yeah. And our natural hair is gorgeous. So, um, you know, we have a lot going on with us we are we are such amazing women and most importantly you each possess free will that means you get to make choices now you might not like your choices but you do get to make them black women and I'm gonna tell you that because you possess the power of choice you get to decide, to decide that you want to believe what all of these people are have been trying to teach you all your life. You can choose to believe their bullshit. You can choose to believe in the nightmares and the fairy tales that they feed you and the lies. Girl, gone. Do that. I'm not going to be with you, but you, you do that. Okay, so if you need to believe that you are less than or some motherfuckers help make girl mm, sounds good to me do that if you um need to believe that your black son uh a brother or father or black male cousin or black men in general um if you need to believe that uh they're kings and uh some shit like that hey girl i ain't gonna stop you i ain't gonna stop you um But you are never, no matter how much you pray, going to make them be leaders, loyal, righteous. Um, Nor are you going to get them to protect and provide for you. So you sit with that. Because, as I've said before, I'm not picking your sons, fathers, brothers, whatever, whoever the fuck they are, over my daughter. She's got us born. And I would suggest you don't do it either. Over anyone's thought.